Hi, I'm Songi Park, a research associate in the Nano Analysis Group at Imperial College London. In this video, I'm going to introduce our recent published paper. The title is Organic Biolayer Photovoltaics for Efficient Indoor Light Harvesting. What is the motivation of this work? Recently, wireless communication electronic devices have attracted a great attention, such as Internet of Things and many types of sensors. And thanks to the development of technology, these devices can perform with only a few micro to milliwatts of power. Therefore, a continuous power source is greatly needed for a smooth connection between those devices. Here, we wondered, can we use organic solar cells as the continuous power source by recycling indoor light? Most of highly efficient organic solar cells can be achieved by using Burkettel Junction as a photoactive layer. Here is a question, is it the best structure for indoor light harvesting? To answer this question, in this work, we compared device performance and their characteristics between Burkett junction and bilayer structures under indoor light conditions. We used PM6 and IDIC as protective materials in this work. Let's see the device performance first. On the one sun illumination, Burkett junction devices show higher maximum power output mainly due to higher short circuit current density compared to bilayer devices. However, under indoor light illumination, the situation is changing. In this case, bilayer devices show much better device performance, which could attribute it to mainly higher open circuit voltage as well as field factor compared to bulk cathode junction devices. We also checked detailed photovoltaic parameters on the various light intensities, Firstly, from open circuit voltage versus light intensity relationship, we found that bilayer devices show less voltage drop with decreasing light intensities. This indicates bilayer devices have much less trap assisted recombination compared to bulk heterojunction devices. Secondly, from field factor versus light intensity relationship, we observed that bilayer devices show higher field factor than one sun and also compared to those of Burkettel Junction. This implies better charge transport and extraction properties in bilayer devices, particularly for indoor light intensity. Shock resistance is one of a greatly important parameter for indoor photovoltaics, which is related to leakage currents through the devices. Here, bilayer devices show higher shunt resistance regardless of light intensity, indicating minimized undesirable charge extraction pathways in bilayer devices. To identify the origin of the better device performance in bilayer devices, we checked light soaking effect. Because here we used zinc oxide as electron transport layer, and it's known that mid-gap trap state of zinc oxide layer could hinder the charge extraction by forming unwanted interfacia barrier. It means making ideal interfacia state or energetics is greatly important to achieve high efficiency without additional light soaking, which can facilitate these mid-gap trap states. Burkettel Junction devices, as expected, show strong light soaking effect with dramatic change of shunt resistance, possibly due to undesirable interfacial contact between photoactive and zinc oxide layer. On the other hand, the bilayer devices show less light soaking effect with almost maintained shunt resistance. This can be attributed to ideal and desirable interfacial contact between pure acceptor and zinc oxide layer in bilayer structure. In other words, bilayer devices don't need additional light soaking to obtain their best device efficiency. Charge transport and extraction properties are further investigated to confirm the origin of better device performance of bilayers. From surface photovoltaic measurement, bilayer case show much better turn on and off SPB transient upon the light illumination, indicating less charge trapping of bilayer devices. In transient photo current, bilayer devices show much faster charge transport time, which also supports efficient charge transport and extraction properties. 
Light intensity depends on the surface photovoltaic data can tell us that all cathode junction devices have more prominent recombination losses, particularly under low light intensity, as the SPV magnitude decreases more with the decreasing light intensity. Bilayer devices show less dependence of SPV magnitude upon the light intensity, which is also indicative of suppressed traps. This result is well consistent with open circuit voltage versus light intensity characteristic, which I mentioned previously. Here is a summary. Bulk cathode junction is actually great structure in terms of efficient photocurrent generation and charge trapping induced by isolated domains or undesirable interface contact can be ignored, particularly under one sun illumination. However, indoor light has extremely lower light intensity than one sun. This means generated photocurrent density is also extremely low. In such low light intensity circumstances, the charge trapping induced by isolated domains or undesirable interface contact cannot be ignored, leading to much poorer device performance than bilayer devices. Thanks to ideal structure of bilayer, namely pure acceptor and donor layer with ideal contact with each electrode, overcharge carriers can be extracted efficiently without any charge trapping. Therefore, bilayer devices are greatly suitable for indoor photovoltaic applications. If you'd like to find more detailed information, please check this paper which is available online with open access, and please visit our group website and follow Twitter and subscribe our YouTube channel. You can find other interesting results done by our group. Thank you for watching this video.